Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome back to another quickie. And in this video, we are going to update this project that we coded earlier, which was Flutter and Firebase and a Notes app. So I have received tens of questions on how to update this particular note that you have added. As of now, I have just pulled the source for code from Git. So it's everything that was earlier. If you click, if you add a note, if you click on this delete button, you are able to delete a note. But if you want to update a note, that's not possible. And it's not like it's tough, but I don't know why many people are having problem with this. So we are going to solve a couple of issues here. And also I'm going to implement a Google style edit format. I mean, basically in Google Docs, when you open something there, you can click on a button and it will be changed to an editable format. But if you don't want to edit, you can click on the button again and then you can simply view, you can't edit it. So that's what we're going to implement. Before we do that, here is some quick promotion from my side. And it's about my website, DC Programmer, where I have added this new Mongo Express, Flutter and Node.js course. We are going to build a simple service booking application using MongoDB, Express, Node.js as a backend. But we are going to use Flutter's app and web as a client. So that's going to be very interesting. You should check this out. And right now it's available for free. You don't have to pay any money for that. Anyway, now let's get started with our tutorial. First of all, I've added some colors in my home page. I think that's simple. And in my main dot dot earlier, I was simply calling the login page here. And the problem that it was creating is that even if you are authenticated, you will have to log in every time. So I solved that. I put I post that to get here. But if you don't know, you can take a look at it anyway. So now that we have this application up and running, everything is pretty simple here. And if you want to run this, you have to simply download this from a GitHub clone this from github and then put your own services.json file and then put your own SHA1 and SHA256 keys on Firebase console and you'll be good to go. Anyway, moving forward, as you can see, this is our simple note. When we click on this, we go to this page. Now, what I want to do on this view note page is that here I want another button and that button should uh, give us an option to edit this text. And to do that, we are simply going to view note. And as you can see here, we have an elevated button. So I can simply copy this. I can paste it on top. And now if I save this, you see we are getting these three buttons. So since this we have a single row where the main axis are embedded in space between, it's going to, you know, put everything in between, which I don't want. So I'm going to grab both these elevated buttons and we are going to cut. We're going to create a new row right here with children, which will be these two buttons of odds. And if I save this, they are going to be, you know, um, pretty sticked to each other. I want this spacing to be less, you know, because that's not what we want. And also here we can give some spacing. So a simple sized box with a width of I think 8.0 will do the job. So let's take a look at it. All right, it looks good. Now the first sec the last one is delete. We are uh, completely fine with that, but this one should be an edit. So we're going to change it. It's not going to be delete forever. It's going to be edit. All right, we'll save it. Now you can see an edit, but I don't want this color. Um, let's go with gray 200. So let's see how that looks. We can take uh, gray 200. Let's save. All right, that's too much. All right, so gray 700 looks good. Once you can click on this, we should be able to edit it. So what we have to do in order to make sure that this is editable is that here, I first have a boolean which is edit and by default it's false, which means by default you're not allowed to edit anything. And since I have this boolean, which is edit false here, when you click on this button, instead of calling edit, we have a simple function call here. And what this function does is that it calls set state and the variable that we're changing is we are setting edit to not edit. So if you are in edit mode, you will go back to non edit mode. And if you are in non edit mode, you will go back to edit mode. So you'll go to edit mode. And my scaffold, I want a simple button right here, which should be visible only when you're in edit mode. That button is going to be a floating accent button. So here we're going to check the value of edit. If it's true, then we are going to return a floating accent button. And uh, if it's false, then we are simply going to return a null value. So we won't have anything. As you can see right now, if I save this, if I click on this edit, now we have this button. If I click on it again, the button is gone. So that's pretty good, right? My button, the child will be a simple icon, which will be icons dot save. Let's just let's do something like save rounded. All right. And um, let me give this couple styling because it doesn't look very good as of now. Yeah. OK, so I just copied the styling from home page. It's not like I'm putting a lot of my mind in it. So just set the color to colors dot white 70 and we'll be good to go. So now this looks pretty decent. OK, a simple save button. Once we have this, now what we want is to make sure that these are text field and they should be enabled and disabled accordingly. 
as of now we simply have containers padding and text so we have to change that now again i'm not going to spend a lot of time because if you take a look at this we have the same um a view right here too i just want the same thing here too so i just have to go to my add note page and just as you can see we have this text form field i can simply grab, grab it but before i do that let me tell you there was a quick issue here so in our add note field although i have added a form here i did not add any key and things as such which is why when you try to you know uh, add something we are not checking if these fields are empty or not this could be a problem but this is completely up to you it's pretty basic as stuff if you want to do something you know try to add a form here but i'm going to do that in view note so in view note i'm simply copying one of the text fields from here so let's set this one i'll copy it let's go to view note and what i want i don't want these stuff like this text test title and this note instead of that i want text field so just as you can see here we have this container i will replace uh, okay like here we have this title which is simple text i'm going to put my text field right here if i save this so now you can see we have the same thing but let me first remove this okay here we have to change couple of things and earlier i already had this string title and description so we are good here what we want to change here is that in our um text field which we have here we are going to have an initial value so the initial value is going to come from visit dot data and the key is title so we'll get the initial value here and the on change you will get the title value also we have a value here which is enable which will be set to the value of edit so only when you set this uh, only when editing is allowed you will get to see and if editing is not allowed if you tap on here nothing is going to happen basically what this means is that if i click on this button then now i can click here and i can enter whatever i want but if I don't click on this button, I can't do anything. So that's good. If you go back, if you open again, so whatever our title is, it will appear here. If you want to edit, you can click on this and now you can edit. And if you want to save, whenever you want to save, you can simply click on this button and you can save. I know it looks pretty simple. Obviously it's simple. It's not, you know, like chant stuff. I can go back to my add note. Here in this container, we again have this text form field. So let's copy this for our description. So copy this and instead of this container we are going to have this text form field let's save this and i don't want note description okay i'll no no description looks good everything looks pretty good we have description here what i want to change here is and again initial value which will come from visit dot data and we have description so let's save that and a value of enable which is set to edit save it and we are good here so whenever you want you can edit it click on this and now you are good to go good to edit now here comes the issue that most of you were facing so what basically happens is that once you do it like this you have set everything but what this means is that when you change something then only it will be reflected so basically all these value have null by default and uh, if i take my console right here let me show you what's basically happening so this is my simple text okay if i try to change my title to let's say test 2 but i don't change my note so since i'm not changing my note the on change have never been called which is why this entire value is still null and if you click update then only the title will be updated and the description will go away it will become null and that's something you want to avoid and there are two ways of doing that earlier i used to check here so i will put these values to these values and basically you will have title which will be the uh, original title but if you change it will be appended earlier it wasn't working in firebase 2 there was some issues it wasn't taking up but i think they have fixed it now so the process has become a lot simpler all that you have to do here in build context i'm saying that once you are start rendering go and grab the visit data and give me the title set the value of the title to my title variable and the same way set the value of description to my this variable okay so cri ption of the spelling is correct and now we have description right here all right let's save it now what happens is that even if you click on change that's going to work fine so just as we have white delete we can have white save we don't need anything we have access to everything and uh, you know let me just copy this okay we don't even need to copy it we just want to do something like um a wait visit we are going to get the document reference to update our document and the data that we want to update is we want to set the title to title and we want to set the um description d e s c r i p t i o n 
to the des variable and i think with some issue this shouldn't be like this this should act actually be a json object so great a, a map basically it will be converted to json so once we have this i just want to go back so we have our navigator dot of context dot pop and last but not the least i'm saying you know um it's up to you to do if you want you can make this better by showing any kind of alert that new changes have been saved all right let's save it i also want to implement the form part which is why uh, we need to go to boolean edit we want to create a global key of form state let the key be form key and it will be a global key of forms state the reason why i want to implement a forms key right here is let's say you go you open a text or a note you come here and instead of updating anything you are simply just going you're just remove everything and clicking on save now technically that should delete the um, note but that's not good to do which is why i have a form key here which says that hey if you want to delete click on the delete button it's not like if you want to delete you just erase everything and click on save all right since we have that now on changed we have a validator and the validator is going to grab a value and we are saying that if underscore value dot is empty we have to return that um can't be empty okay i hope that's okay you can change whatever you want else we simply return null value and the same validator goes for my description too so let's copy this and here in my note too we have this so let's save it once you have done this let's click on edit okay and now if i edit anything it should be reflected on my database right so let's say i'm saying test 2 okay uh, let's let me fetch this one so that you can see changes in real time if i click on save then this test should be come on change it okay it's not happening because i haven't called the save function from my um floating action button so let's go right here we need to call the save function right let's save it now if we go back let's see if i click on save this will change this to right let's do again if i click on edit if i click on test 2 if i click on save this changes this to test test 2 but what's more important to see is that the description is still the same let's try again here we are not changing my title i'm just saying that uh, it's i'm just changing my description if i save again then my test my title is still the same but my description has been changed and at one point if you want to change both the test and uh, you know like uh, note click on save then both of them will be changed if you want to delete you can delete like that's obviously working fine and last but not the least if you want to just remove everything and then click on save it's going to give us okay it's it's not giving an error and the reasons because we're not checking for that so come on let's do that we have to say that if form key if key dot current state dot validate so only if it's valid do this okay let's save it and now this can happen let's go again you know i mean it's obviously it doesn't look good so let's add something let's click on save and now we have something so let's click on this again and i'm saying edit it i'm removing everything and after removing everything if i click on save it should give me error that hey it can't be empty so yeah we are good here even if i put a title even if i don't put a note description it should say that hey this can't be empty come on tell me that yep this can't be empty it's, it's saying here but it's okay yep if i can just enter both the data if i click on save then now we have new note and you can continue doing this you know like i can say um add this update video and uh, my note description will be that remember to push to git let's click on save and now we have this new update video but hey i made a typo so i can go back and i can say that update video not anything else and let's you know, pay attention right here i click on save and here this has been updated so looks pretty good to me we have added this functionality and i know that that it, this is this is something which is very complex to add but since most of you are having problem i have done that there's also one more thing that i want to implement here basically right now if i basically right now if i don't have any note okay if i'm deleting this if i'm deleting this then it looks empty something that i don't want so as you can see here in my you know list view dot builder i'm saying if snapshot dot has data you know return a list view dot builder looks pretty good to me but in my list view dot builder where we are returning an ink well i want to check for something here so i'm saying that if 
snapshot.data.docs.length is equal to zero. So if the length is zero, I want to return a center. And in center, I want a child, which should be my text. And it should say, you have no saved notes. And just let's see if it looks good or not. But I think I should actually cut this up. Okay. And instead of going list view builder, basically when this is zero, it's not going to build anything. So before returning my list view builder, I have to check for the length and then I have to return a center with a text and I give this a small styling. So now you can see we have this simple text which says, hey, you have no saved notes. So now this looks good. Okay. Save a note and you're good there. You can edit it however you want. You're good there too. And then if you delete everything, you will say this that, hey, you have no saved notes. Come on, save a note. Well, that's pretty much it from my side in this video. And I will catch you again soon in the next video. Although I wanted this to be a quickie, looks like I've spent some decent 20 minutes recording this video. So yeah, be ready for a good tutorial coming on your way. And I'll see you again in the next video. Till then, keep coding, keep loving, keep saving, and peace.